Hello, my name is Sean Geringer. I'm KC0AKY. Welcome to my first video blog entry. Today we're going to be discussing the EasyCap, which is a USB uh, TV tuner for Europe that's found a lot of use here in the States as a very budget software defined radio or SDR. And in my blog entry today, I'm going to give you a real brief introduction to what this can do and the software that you're going to use with uh, your Windows system. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what the Easy Cap looks like up close. You'll see it looks just like your standard USB thumb drive. It has a PAL TV antenna connector on the back and they include an adapter to BNC in the package. It just sticks in and then you can connect your BNC cable to your antenna. The other end you just plug in, they include a USB extension cable. You want to keep it as far away from the computer as possible. And then when it's activated, it lights up blue. So once you have the software started, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your EasyCap SDR is working properly. The easiest way to do that is to just simply tune it to a FM radio station, a regular broadcast wideband FM station. There should be several in your area. They're plenty strong. I'm going to show you what it looks like to tune into a station that is broadcasting with HD radio. We're going to tune to 88.3, which is KCCK here in Cedar Rapids. So the easiest signal to calibrate your receiver to is going to be a broadcast band FM signal. They're the strongest and they're pretty much prevalent everywhere. This is KCCK. It's an HD signal with analog. You can see the digital carriers. I'm going to zoom out so you can get kind of a better picture of just the small portion of the band that we're looking at. And then this is a little bit larger of the educational band. So once we know everything's working properly, the next thing we might want to do is try to tune to a narrowband FM station. So this could be anything. This could be your non-digital local police. This could be ham radio stations. But probably for most people, the steadiest and easiest to find signal will be weather radio. So we're going to tune to the weather radio station here in Cedar Rapids. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So this is what a narrowband FM signal looks like in SDR, and we're tuned to WXL51, which is the weather radio here in Cedar Rapids. You see you can zoom in and actually get a good view of the entire FM package. One thing I like about this software is you can point and click to reduce the bandwidth. If you had several FM signals nearby, you could reduce the bandwidth and cut out interference. And you could do the same thing in the UHF band and listen to police or any businesses or in the VHF band as well. That's what narrowband FM looks like in the SDR. The EasyCap can also do AM decoding. Of course it's just as simple as clicking another checkbox when you're setting up the tuner. So let's go ahead and jump over to a AM broadcast which is a aircraft uh, coming in to the uh, Cedar Rapids control tower. I'll show you what that looks like. This is what the aircraft band looks like. Now you'll notice that we're in AM mode. We have a squelch here. I'm going to let that out so we can hear some of the weaker signals. You have a squelch available in narrowband FM and in AM modes. Now these are planes checking into the um, CID tower. And that is a quick overview of what AM looks like on the aircraft band. One of the best features about SDR is the waterfall display, which is a method of seeing a large swath of band all at one time. When you're just listening with a radio, you can only listen to one frequency, but with the waterfall display, you can actually see a large portion of the band, so you can see signals that you may not be tuned to. What I'm going to show you now is the uh, 800 megahertz trunked digital portion of the band here in Cedar Rapids. Uh, we're going to see several trunk signals. One of these is the CRPD. Another one is an analog voice signal that we're going to actually listen to for a second. Here's what that looks like. So this is what the 800 megahertz band looks like in Cedar Rapids. This is a small portion of it, 857.615. I'm going to first show you that we can adjust the gain of the receiver, and that will really clean up this signal. 
You can see the noise floor isn't really changing much as I change that. It's actually a pretty good front end. We can zoom in on the signal and get a little bit better view of it. So let's jump over and take a look at uh, a digital signal here. This is actually the control signal for the CRPD. And then we can zoom out here and see there's several different control signals for different trunk systems. And that's what 800 megahertz looks like. I hope you enjoyed the video blog entry. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.